Hello, I am Olivia and I am the owner and CEO of Profits and Books Bookkeeping Services and Online Marketing Services. Today I just want to talk about why is it important to update your details on your e-filing portal. You know, it is so important that the right people must be able to reach you. And how do we reach each other? Through emails, through WhatsApp, Facebook, or just a call, which most of the people, most of us, we don't use normal cell phone calls. But you need a number to communicate with people. You need a number to communicate with friends, with family, colleagues, acquaintances, and so does SARS or any place where you do business. Our natural response, I've spoken to someone who said, you know what? I don't want anything to do with SARS. I don't want them to know about me. I don't want to give them money. I don't want anything to do with those people. But here's the thing. SARS knows about you. I know it's not a nice feeling, but they know about you. And for SARS to keep up to date and to keep you informed about what they need from you and what they want from you. They need to know where you live, what is your cell number and what is your email address, right? So instinctively, when we hear about such, we just want to hide in a corner and hope that, you know, they'll forget about us. I mean, you don't want them to know about you. But the moment you start making big bucks, whether it's running a business, making, winning some money, whatever it is, the moment your bank um, balance increase substantially, the Reserve Bank and SARS know about you. Or, no, you come onto the radar. So how do you prevent to get in trouble with SARS? Number one, update your details. Because I can guarantee you, SARS will find you. Why must you update your details? Say, for instance, SARS has made a mistake with their calculations. And they do. There's also that possibility that SARS can get it wrong. They made a mistake with their calculations. And according to them, you owe them money. But in fact, in actual fact, you don't owe them money. Now, your details are not updated. And SARS sends you a letter of demand that you owe us money. Because... They don't have your updated, your correct email address. They don't have your correct um, cell number. So that first warning, it goes to the wrong number. Someone who doesn't even know who you are will get your personal, like this warning from SARS. You don't respond. You can't respond because you are unaware that you owe SARS money. That was thunder. That was thunder outside. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether that's an ominous sound that when I said you owe such money, the light, the thunder struck. But in any case, I hope that you don't owe such money that much. So now, SARS has sent you the first letter of demand. You don't respond because you never got the letter, because your details are not updated. They send the second letter of demand. You still don't respond because you haven't received it, because your details are still not updated. Then what happens? You get into serious trouble with SARS, not because you don't want to pay them, but because they could not reach you. And when they can't reach you, when they don't hear anything from you, SARS assumes that you don't want to pay them and they will visit in your bank account. That's the first place they will go. Then from there, they start attaching your possessions, your stuff. And there's a whole process for that to happen. 
anything to do with lawyers. Anything. It's painful. It's unpleasant. It's stressful. It is plain, downright awful. And it's a costly. It's expensive. For you to avoid that unpleasant process, a simple thing that you can do is update your details. If you have never registered on the e-filing portal, do yourself that favor and go and register. Even if you don't have a tax number, you can apply for a tax number on the e-filing portal. You go there, you register as a taxpayer, then SARS will have your latest information and then they can communicate with you. So when they have made a mistake, you can immediately say, hang on, hang on, uh-uh, I don't owe you money. And this is why A, B, C and D, here are the facts for businesses, because that was for, in your, as for you as a person, as an individual, a word I actually don't like. So when it comes as a business, how do you make sure that you don't get into trouble with SARS? First of all, file tax returns. File it. Even if it's zero, zero, just file it every year. Number one. Number two, when you do owe SARS money, you know, it's, it's, it's horrible to pay money that you think this is unfair, but Go and make arrangements. Sort it out. Don't ignore it. I am a bookkeeper. I am not a tax advisor. I'm not a tax professional. I don't deal with tax at all. But what I do is to make sure that my clients, that their books are structured in a way that they pay the right amount of tax. Which means, I know as a bookkeeper that when the profit that you make, you don't get taxed on your full profit. You get taxed on the amount that is left after your expenses has been deducted. It is important, of the utmost important importance that keep all your slips because that is the proof that you have spent the money on the business. And the profit is not just what you have made, but they need to minus what you have spent. So to come back to you to make sure that SARS can communicate with you at any given moment, make sure your email address is up to date. Your cell phone number is up to date. Your address is up to date. These are three simple, small things that you can do to get on the right side of SARS. And unfortunately, there's no avoiding, there's no running away from SARS. There, there just isn't. But the good news is when your tax affairs are in order, you can actually get a refund from SARS because you have been paying too much tax. They give you that money. In some cases, yes, let's face it, it becomes almost an impossible task to get the money. But at the heart of all disputes, it's documentation. What are the documents that are needed for you to stay on the right side? Get a bookkeeper and then to, with the bookkeeper, you will then give all your slips, all your invoices, everything that you've spent in order to make money in your business. That will help you to pay less tax. So I'll just recap it in a nutshell. Update your details with SARS on the e-filing portal. Make sure your address, your email address and your contact number is the latest one. Don't run away, don't hide, update it. And then get a bookkeeper to structure your books in your business so that you can file the correct information to SARS so that you don't end up paying too much tax.
but that you pay the right amount of tax. I thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative. And if you have any questions or if you need assistance, please don't forget. You can leave a comment, like and subscribe and let, you, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I am Olivia.